Hi guys, Kat here with After 40 Art, and today we're going to swatch out the Rosa Gallery into my swatch book. Okay, so I just got these yesterday, and I did open them, and uh, I did very quick swipe swatches for my light fastness test in my window that I started yesterday. They are sitting in the window. So today I'm just going to, um, I finished setting them up in here and I am going to swatch them into the book so we can get kind of an idea of uh, you know what they actually look like because yesterday I wasn't really paying too much attention it was just let's get them on the paper and get them in the window as fast as possible so I have some coffee and I am going to get started here so we will start with the white, which claims to be three stars and PW6. I probably should spray these, but I never spray them ahead of time when I do these things, so... Do I want to wet the paper first is another question. Probably not for the... well, okay, I won't do it for the white, but I'll do it for the rest.
I was trying to do the thing where I like swipe of like wet the paper, swipe of color, then rinse it off a bit, another swipe of color, like but less color, and then no color. Um, the stickers keep kind of wanting to come off, so I'm gonna have to glue them, which I don't know. I don't open this book that often, um, just when I'm needing something specific out of it, or if I'm putting new stuff in. So I don't know if that will matter so much. Um, I do like them. They're pretty colors. They're very vibrant. So now I want to try some small paintings, maybe. Um, and we'll see what we can come up with with that. Okay, guys, so I finished, uh, I took a break, had some lunch, and, uh, started drawing, uh, this toucan here that I found on, uh, Unsplash. And now I'm just kind of trying to erase some of the lines, at least. I used this, um, very gently, these, uh, Faber-Castell Jumbo pencils in uh, 2B and 4B. I think I used the 4B one. They're both sitting right there. Um, and I'm just trying to dab it off with this the best I can. I have under no illusions that it will come off completely 100%. I'm just going to grab this lid here so I can sharpen the Karen Dosh Luminance White here so that I can use it as like a resist for some raindrops. Because there is like rain in the background and I don't want to cover up everything. Also, it's a little backwards, but that's okay. I kind of wanted it that way, so. Let's see. I want to have... Like, maybe here. I don't know if this is going to work or not, so... We're just trying here.
It is not perfect by any means. I am completely aware of this. That is okay. But I am fairly happy with it. Um, I'm not happy with the fact that if this stuff gets even the slightest bit, uh, so like if the black was dry and I painted the yellow, like the black would get picked up really easily. So that's really annoying. Um, there should be some more green around here, but I don't know if I can get it to do what I want it to do because I'm worried that it will just pick up more yellow. So they are really nice colors, but probably not really for layering. And I just touched it with my thumb in the tree trunk. I'm very sad by this. I don't know if I can fix that. Probably not. Oh boy. Well, you know what? It's fine now. It's okay. I'll just uh, do this in an attempt to make it there. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I'm happy with it though, it's really nice. They are really nice colors, they just do not layer well at all. Um, but yeah, I really like them. They're really pretty, they're vibrant. I haven't uh, I haven't really noticed too huge of a color shift. Um, it's not that massive. Yeah, the black does dry a little, dark, like a little uh, less dark as I would like. Um, but, I mean, it, it is a really awesome black with that purple, like, undertone. So, I think I can forgive it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a really great day, and I will catch you guys in the next video.